college historical society. Okay, so before we get into substantial, I've uh, I've uh, five main points I wanted to go through. Uh, okay, so the, the first, and I think the most pertinent that we put forward, you know, by the opposition here, is that um, society's fault. Every evil religion has possibly has caused, you know, is a result of society. It wouldn't have happened anyway, you know, because of society. Okay, so 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 do they not think? Like, I mean, that we had already them, but like that morality could possibly influence people doing things. So they not think the religion might enforce, you know, this societal event. Like, if, if everything happens anyway because of society, then why do we need religion? We don't. Because if it's going to happen anyway because of society's, society's qualms, then we surely don't need religion, right? You know, the religion just acts as a reinforcement of those bad things in society. Or in this case, or in the other case, you know, those good things in society. So what religion acts to do is enforce society's dictates. So, like, religion is superfluous to society. But who do you think religion is? I'm going to show why it isn't. Okay? And then, like... Second of all, we had this idea of like, uh, as we had this idea of like, especially for, you know, for Quiva, community. You know, religion brings people together um, and makes them want to love each other. Okay, but you see, it doesn't, right? Because funnily enough, religion is about communities, right? Because in case people notice, there aren't, isn't one religion, right? Most of human history has been about, you know, has been about people being incredibly stupid about, you know, reasons to hate another person for very silly differences like the colour of your skin or the fact that you're a different sex to, or you know, pretty arbitrary reasons like you funny hat, right? And religion just adds another division, another label which you can use to alienate someone else, and you can use to justify aggression, and use to justify conflict, and another label that acts as division between you and other people. So yeah, people go, you know, go together to the mosque, but you know where the other half of the community goes? To like the church. And you know, people are like, why do they go to the mosque? Why do they go to the church? Maybe we should hate them because of it. And that's what's happened for the whole of human history. It creates, it adds to another artificial oh, division, no, thank you, adds to us another, yet another artificial division uh, to, 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 to screw us over. And then we had like the idea of, of hope. And isn't it great that it gives them hope? Okay, well, no. No, it's not, right? It doesn't, like, it acts as a comfort to them, yeah. But we think that the fact that a believer is happier than a skeptic is no more relevant to this, to this than the fact that a drunkard is happier than, like, a sober man, right? The fact that you can delude people, like, the fact that you delude people about the nature of reality, right, makes them a number of things, right? It, it fundamentally, like, also tells you reality, I'll get to that later. And second of all, it, 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 like, it weakens them, and, like, it, it, it weakens them, makes them really susceptible to be manipulated, right? Okay, and then, like, my, 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 my final real my point of the bottle is, like, this idea of a blank canvas. The idea that all the things we're trying, the wrong things we're saying they did wrong, etc., just are just incidental, are just uh, like extrinsic to what the in, in essential nature of religion is, and it's just when people do religion that's bad or good, but religion fundamentally, as a ca- on a canvas level, is good. So that's why my point tonight will be focusing on this, the essential elements of religion, not the particulars, right? Not the like incidental, not the extrinsic, the intrinsic nature. And so my two big points are like, are, like I'll, 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 I'll rely on this. Okay, first of all, like the the, 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 the suspension of standards, but what's it called? Faith. Uh, and second of all, the idea of non the, the, why non well, the idea of non-materialism and why that's harmful. Okay, so first of all, the suspension of standards, okay? So what does religion rely on on a fundamental level, right? It relies on suspending the usual way that you make judgments about the world. And this calls the thing faith, right? Because a faith, faith essentially says there is, exists X proposition. Believe X proposition. No rationale, no reason. Right? It spends everything said like if I went up to you like if, no, thank you. if I went up to Dave and I said, Oh yeah, it was a totally great night, night last night, like I, I downed like X shots and like I got with this many people, etc. You might be a bit skeptical, especially that claim is a bit out there, right? And you might ask for proof, right? Or you know, or if you're like looking for like a particular like boson, you might like look for proof then, right? So you know, in general in life, that's what makes an empirical claim you look for proof. But if religion really says, no, no, don't look for proof, take it on faith. Similarly, you know, well, thank you. Similarly, when when um, when, when um, you know, people say, oh, is this moral or not? Like, maybe you should judge by the different ethical standards. But he says, no, it's, mo- it's, it's moral. No, no, it's not moral. And they say, why? Because God says it, right? It essentially says, X is true because it God says it. Or take it on faith. No, thank you. It suspends the usual way we judge the world. It suspends the usual just making ourselves. And why is this how any harmful, right? Because it says things like this, right? You know, if you're making a judgment about, you know, like whether to do something ethically good or bad, if you make a judgment about whether to go to crusade, it says, probably kids are killing Muslims. And you're like, oh, they don't really die. Like, that's just, that's, that's just something else. Like, they, they, they actually be healed by what, like, when you stab them. They'll be, they'll be purged of their sins, etc. Because you're, you know, you're a Christ, Christian going over to fight them. And you're like, that's absolutely absurd. But everything's you have to and you go, take it on faith, right? And you know, someone says, this doesn't match my morals, you know? I think we should treat all people equally. And they say, no, no, take it on faith. That's what religion does. It suspends, oh, it's, it's, actually in a second, it suspends the basic judgments, right? We make it that well. The basic way we judge whether something is true or false, right or wrong. And yeah, people, sure. 
like, do you not think that faith, like, I don't think that applies to all things. I think religion is different because it's abstract. We, we, like, a reasonable person will understand what's real and what's not. Um, right, but, okay, so what's real and what's not? So usually the claim, there's a unicorn over, unicorn over there is, is pretty, like, fantastical, etc. But, like, reasonable people can manage to convince themselves that, you know, um, someone was magically resurrected despite them never having had the history thing. Or that, you know, someone could separate a seed despite them having the history thing. People don't really believe things all the time when religion's involved because religion suspends that basic standard. And religion is a particularly potent form of suspending the standard of belief, which thing is bad. Oh, thank you. And that goes to my, my second point, right? And this is really crucial. Uh, the non-materialism of religion, okay? So what's religion say to you? It says, right, this reality all around us that we live in, we, we deal with, etc. That that's there. But aside from that, there's another separate reality up there, right? Which is far more important. So what religion essentially does, and, and this is what's pretty important, it alters your values, right? Because it says, no matter what harm is done in this world, ultimately the, like, up there is more, it's more, more important. So it says, right, even if, if you like, beat up several people, as long as that will get you, like, as long as that has some sort of spiritual good, then that sort of totally outweighs the material wrong that stuff. It says, discard the material world. And like, you, know, like, you even look at this, like, we, we, like, like, it says, like, you know, even if you're poor now, right, that doesn't really matter. In the afterlife, you won't be. So be concerned about the poor. Don't help the poor. Because, you know, instead, in the afterlife, you know, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be great rewards. Because if this spiritual good is great than whatever physical wrong is done. That's what religion does. It alters the balance of the way we perceive things. So you don't might say, oh, you know, I think being mean to that person is, you know, it might hurt their feelings. I think killing someone else is wrong. I think, you know, um, persecuting this particular people is wrong. No, no. It may be wrong in the, in like, if you're looking at the physical, but if you look to the spiritual, the extra, like, that's what, what isn't in reality. It becomes totally different. I think this is something like, that the opposition, the opposition is they'll probably praise a good thing. Because that's what religion does. It alters the basic way we make, we, we, can, we can make assessment, we can make that make assessments about the world. It alters our judgment. It says whatever harm is done here, infinite, bene- infinite benefit will follow. And sure, yeah, you know, it, it earns off a hope because it says, you know, um, oh yeah, well, like benefit might follow, you know, if you've had a shit life. Um, well, actually, we, we think this is pretty bad because it says to people, you know, it, say, it, it, it says to people, don't care about those things. Don't care about them now. Don't care about the things that we know that matter and actually do matter. Okay, so, so what have like, what what I tried to bring to you? Right. First of all, that even if you like get, if you, if you separate all the, the incidental things of religion, that these things remain, and that these things fundamentally alter the way people see, and are responsible for much of the damage religion has brought. I beg you to propose.